In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix an error with Halo Infinite not allowing you to launch the game, as it's saying that you do not have the latest driver installed. As you can see, I have the shortcut on my desktop, and if I double click on the shortcut, it goes to launch the game, and then I get a warning saying, Microsoft Basic Render Driver was chosen as graphics device. Please ensure you have a DirectX 12 compatible graphics adapter and have installed the latest drivers provided by the manufacturer. So this is basically saying that either my graphics card does not support DirectX 12. So to check if your graphics card supports DirectX 12, all you need to do is simply go to the manufacturer website of your graphics card and then see if it says DirectX 12 in the system specs for your graphics card. And as long as your graphics card does support DirectX 12 and meet Halo Infinite's minimum requirement for a graphics card, then the next thing you need to do is download the latest driver for your graphics card. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to do that for an NVIDIA graphics card. So you can go ahead now and press exit to close down the error message. And you now need to click on the link that's in the description below. Once you're on the NVIDIA website, you now need to select your graphics card. The first thing we need to change is the product type. I've got a GeForce, which means I need to select GeForce. For the product series, I've got a 16 series. And then the product, I have got a 1660 Super. And I'm using Windows 10 64-bit. And for the download type, you want to select Game Ready Driver. And you can then select your language. So once you have selected your graphics card, go ahead and click on Search. And you now need to select Download. And you then need to click on Download again, and then Save File and this will download the latest NVIDIA driver for your graphics card. And once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file. You then need to press OK. You can now choose if you'd like to just install the driver itself, or if you'd like to also install GeForce Experience. I want to install GeForce Experience with my driver, which means I'm going to keep this option selected. Once you're happy, go ahead and click on Continue, and also if you do agree to the terms, then click on continue. So we can now choose if we want to do an express or a custom install. I would recommend that you click on express. However, you can click on custom if you want and then choose what you'd like to install and if you'd like to perform a clean installation. So once you have selected an option, go ahead and press next and it will now begin to install the latest driver for your NVIDIA graphics card. And once the install has finished, you can now choose if you'd like to create a desktop shortcut for GeForce Experience and if you'd like to launch it now, which I don't want to. And you can now click on Close. I would now recommend that you restart your computer before launching Halo again. And once you have restarted your computer, you can then go ahead and launch Halo and that message will now be removed. As long as your graphics card does support DirectX 12 and meet Halo Infinite's minimum system requirements. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and subscribe if you want to see more computer sluggish tutorials.